Right, we're going to show you how to draw some ideas in 3D, a little bit like the exemplars that are here. So you're going to draw them in layers, and then you're going to connect the layers with these columns so that the layers are connected. So from the website, you're going to need to download a copy of this sheet. And this sheet is on the Resistant Materials website, and the link is in the documentation. Once you've got your copy, it will look a little bit like this. If you can't print it out, you could use the computer screen direct and use that like a light box and very carefully trace your shape off there. If that's a little bit uh, too big, you can click on it and it will take it a little bit smaller so you can draw it a little bit smaller. The choice is yours. I'm going to use my printed out sheet here. I'm going to put my paper over the sheet and you can then see the shapes underneath. You may not see this completely on video, but trust me, the shapes are there and I can see them. So I'm going to use those shapes. To start with, I'm going to trace just the basic outline. So I'm going to trace the basic outlines that you can see on here. I don't need the dots. The dots are to show me roughly where I'm going to put my uh, columns to support. So I start by just tracing that basic outline Notice I'm using pencil to do my drawing in so that I can rub out mistakes and uh, they're not permanent marks on the paper. So I can trace my three layers. To start with, as I'm drawing a very basic design, I can just use the exact shape that's on the sheet. But later, you will get to the point where you can modify and change these and make them more into your own shapes that you'd like to make yourselves. So I'm literally just tracing in black and white, no effort at putting any cone or colour on. There's the candle and there's the holder at the bottom. Right, so I've now drawn my basic shape. You can see that's pretty much a direct copy. I need now to decide where I'm going to put columns. So if I'm going to put two columns on, or whether I'm going to put one column on, or whether I'm going to put a column here, or a column in the corner, I've got to think a little bit about how I'm going to set up. So if I was doing this one here, I could afford to put a column there, but I obviously couldn't put a column here because there's nothing to attach to. So I'm going to put a column here and here. So I'm going to look at the dots that I've got underneath, and I'm going to trace the dots that I've got there and there and there and there. Those give me a rough indication where I'm going to put my tubes. I don't need you to draw them, they're here. But this bit here, you can line up with this centre column. So you're going to, at that point, move your drawing and you're going to line it up so that the column, which is underneath at that angle, lines up with the shapes. And then you can draw. The top column is in that circle but won't be seen. So I can draw the one column with the base and the other column with the base. And then I can move my drawing across and I can do the same the other side. If I line it up, it may look at an angle, but I'm really looking to line up the tubes so that they're vertical. There we go. So we've now got our basic shape drawn. I can now change that shape if I want to into various different letters. So the top letter I might make into a letter C, in which case I would curve the edge here and I would curve the edge here and I would curve the edge here. And then I'd draw a smaller curve on the inside. And then I can make that into a letter C. I will see some thickness here and I will see some thickness here, and I'll see some thickness there. The rest of it I can rub out, so I can rub out the bits I don't need. And then that little uh, element there, because it goes up to there and I can now see more of it, I can just extend that bit, and I'll also see that little bit there. 
If I'm going to have a hole here for the gas to get through, I could put a circular hole here. I could use the hole that's on the sheet here by putting that underneath the sheet, lining it up, and tracing directly off the sheet. So there we have one basic design. You're going to use that to develop the designs. You could use more than one layer by putting it on your underlay sheet and sketching several layers and then moving it up so you can sketch another layer and then draw in the base at the bottom. You could change the size of one of these layers by physically putting it over the shape and sliding it along so that you can actually extend it that way and extend it that way. And again, put your thickness onto it and then rub out the lines you don't need. You can actually then end up still with the same tubes You can actually then end up with exactly the same sort of design, but starting to look very different. Your task is to draw three or four ideas, just in black and white, with thickness and in 3D. If you want to put the little finisher on the top here, I've even drawn for you the special nut that needs to go at the top. So you put your work over there, and again, just trace the nut that's below your drawing to give it the nice little finisher that will fit on there. The more you draw, the better you'll get at it.